Oh man. <laughs> I don't even recognize the guy in front of the camera anymore, man. Look, obviously I got a haircut, but I don't want to dwell on it because we got a brand new track from Invent Animate. Self-titled track from their album Heavener, which is a fan favorite, which is also one of the best records of the year. I think majority of Metalcore fans can agree that what an amazing album Heavener was. So the fact that we're getting even more Invent Animate towards the end of 2023 is just awesome. It's icing on the cake. So look, let's not waste any more time with this intro. So that's enough chit chat. So Invent Animate, Heavener. Any kind of shoegaze. Some of those slower parts hit just as hard as the heavy sections on the new record, so I'm loving this right now. Yeah, this is just like pure shoegaze. I have a feeling that it's not going to stay like this. Ooh, that was cool. That was very cool. The fuzzy sound effects that they're implementing are unique too. Cool visual for the music video. It's building up.
Okay. I have some thoughts on this. Absolutely. So let's talk about it. All right. So for people like myself who are waiting for new Loathe, you can hold off for a little bit because Invent Animate is filling that hole. Holy crap. <laughs> like, this is just a pure shoegaze track. Obviously, it's got some metalcore elements, but this is solid. This is gorgeous. And this is what I love about Invent Animate's new album, Heavener. And what I found out that this is actually written after Heavener was released. So it's not actually a B-side. And it's basically them taking elements from Heavener, like the more shoegazy, dreamy elements and the more focused uh song structures rather than just technical like progressive metalcore music and just honing in on those elements and they're really really good at it this is the invent animate that i've always craved because the earlier stuff was very technical and it was like very the musicianship was very like proficient but i felt like the band was almost like capable of more because every member is really good but the songs lacked really like big hooks or emotive feelings for me personally i know a lot of people disagree with me completely on that but i felt like heavener was that album that took the technicality but also the actual like familiar song structures with big emotive cleans big emotive hooks and every song felt a little bit different so it was such a big step in the right direction for me and i think for a lot of people i see a lot of people really love heaven or two and the album is amazing this song is so good too it's a nice compliment to heaven or so let me explain it better through the pros and cons Number one pro that I have to this is actually some of the more weird sounds that they're implementing. It almost sounds like Sleep Token Chokehold. It's got that fuzzy, distorted sound to it. And I like that. Rather than just focusing on like guitars and like, you know, the soundscapes, they're incorporating a lot more synth work and interesting sounds into their music. And I honestly think that's a big takeaway. It makes them stand out a little bit more than most metalcore bands who are just relying on guitars, bass, and drums to just create the music and the odd keyboard here and there. Like the sounds here just felt a little bit more unique in, in texture, right? And another pro that I have to this is that the song was actually just focused on shoegaze. And why is that a pro is because these guys are just really good on the softer elements to their music. And I think it really makes the heavy sections of their music hit that much harder when they actually have those like buildups, that tension and that suspense and just that slow dreaminess it's just such a big contrast and i think that's why it works so when they also have tracks that are just like like false meridian that are just relentless those tracks stand out even more because they have songs like this to complement it in contrast another pro that i have to this is that the guitar work was sick so when it came to old invent animate they had a lot of cool riffs but it seemed like just a lot of like guitar noodling and just randomness like it was cool but i felt like riffs here had a sense a bit more sense of purpose right where they actually brought out that really cool riff in that breakdown section in the bridge and they brought it again in the outro so it, they really just made the song just use like these cool chord progressions and cool effects which also can create a lot of cool music too but focus on the technical riff for that special section in the song rather than just throwing it around everywhere a whole bunch of cool riffs where it doesn't feel as special and I think that's why that riff was extra special in that bridge. Um, another pro is just the vocals. The vocals have improved big time with Heavener. And I feel like this track is also like pushing forward with what he can do with his vocal capabilities. Marcus is very capable of like uh, doing a lot of different things vocally with his range. And this song really shows a lot more softer elements, different kind of vocal ideas that just sounds different than anything else that we've had from Event Animate. And that's what I like. They're really pushing themselves as musicians, even though this is not as technical or as crazy, they're still pushing themselves. And that's what I like. So this is just a sick track. So let's move on to the cons and no, this is just cool slower track from invent animate and it's just a nice little surprise to add to heaven or so my rating for this song is going to be 8.3 this is solid track from invent animate but i'm curious to know what your thoughts on heaven are so comment down below spice up my life guys what you think of this song i'd love to know also if you've gone to this point in the video i haven't clicked off yet then i appreciate you man feel free to hit that subscribe button feel free to leave like to the video also if you've gone to this point in the video then comment down below your favorite track off heaven -er. And if you do, that means I know that you watched the entire video, so I'll heart your comment. But on that thing, we tune in. Until next time. Peace.